Yo, Winkrease, what's good? Today is August 21st, 2021. The market is officially closed. Let's check out these charts and see what we can see for what could happen for the next week. All right, first and foremost, if you like what you've been seeing for the last couple of weeks, make sure that you do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. That helps me out big time. Hit the subscribe button. Get access to all the future content. Like I said, that helps me out tremendously. All right, so this week we're gonna actually do something new. Now, typically I cover just the S&P and just the Russell. So those two indexes. I am now going to incorporate adding the Dow and I'm gonna also add the NASDAQ. So it'll be four indexes that we do each week. So let's jump into it and see what we got. First is the S&P. S&P closed at 44.41.67. Record high was the last week of 44.80.26. And when I say the last week, this is the most recent close. So we just hit that record high and we backed off. Target price is still 4,500 for all technical purposes. $20 off from 4,500 isn't bad, but we're gonna see if we can still get there. So this week's candle, we actually pushed lower and then came back higher and closed at 44.40. So that was below last week. So we could have a potential slowdown coming up for the market and it's not off because august is traditionally a volatile month and we could see if the market's going to slow down so that is the s p of course the trend is still healthy we got nothing showing anything that that's slowing down however as far as the current price action we have a potential for at least a cool down. So that's the S&P. Next, we will check the Russell and we'll stick with ticker IWM. So the Russell, the one that I continue to keep an eye on because this is what I use as a gauge for the bull market. Now we closed at 215.52. Record high remains the same, 234.53. Of all the indexes, this is the one that has not made any new highs at all, while the other three have continued to move. That's typically a signal of something is up. Now, we've stayed in this range that we've identified between 210 and 230, and we've identified each time that it hit 210 that it's made a bounce. So, here is one, two, three, and now we have a potential fourth one that has come off of that 210 and bounced higher. And we also identified that we're under our 20 day moving average. And we said last week how it was forming some type of resistance. And you can see here that last week we hit that and then we came back down and moved towards that 210 target. So we bounced off of it again we may have some continuation to come back to this 210. Now, just like anything, if you continually hit it, chances are you might break through it. So 210 is going to continue to be on watch. So that is the Russell ticker IWM. Now we're gonna add into the game a new one. So Dow Jones is gonna actually be ticker dollar sign DJI for those of you on Think or Swim. Here is the Dow Jones index. Zoom in. We close at 35,120 and 8 cents. Record high was 35,631.19, and that was also made the prior week. Now, what I see here is what I saw similar on the S&P. We made that high and we closed lower than last week. Trend is still healthy, of course. Got no problems there. Now we're going to see if this 20 day is going to eventually get some pressure because we hit it here, came back, we made a new high and kind of tested it. We may see a slowdown 
is what the Dow is also showing. So that is the Dow and now we're going to cover the NASDAQ and it's going to be ticker NDX. NASDAQ closed at 15,092 and 57 cents. Record high was 15,184 and 27 cents. Now this one is very interesting because we pushed higher and we've had a very healthy trend as well. The two weeks that we've had recently are showing doji candles and that will always signal indecision. And indecision at highs usually gives me a red flag that things are going to slow down so of all of the indexes all four are starting to show me that things could cool off and that's okay because it was hot for a while and things are going to rebalance so that's it for this week thank you again for all the likes thank you for the shares thank you for checking me out and if you have any questions make sure that you hit me up that's going to be wincrease20 at gmail.com. Enjoy your weekend. Make sure that you use your time wisely. Time is a priority because it is the most vital resource you'll ever have. Spend it wisely. All right. And we'll check you later. Peace.